So I think real estate would be fairly diverse across markets. Like, so, I mean, I'm just trying to think of it from an Indian perspective. For the longest time uh, in India, the yield on 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 rentals uh, was was pathetic. I mean, owning owning a real estate and lending it out wasn't as lucrative as renting out. Off late, if if I look at Mumbai or some other markets, prices may not have necessarily moved up as much, but rental yields have certainly moved up. So it's very diverse across markets. How do you see um, Indian real estate if you have a strong view there, vis-a-vis, -vis, let's say, maybe some of the other markets? So uh, let me start off with you know where we developed our core competence sure. in terms of real estate. It it all it was all US centric okay. for till very recently, five mm -hmm. years ago. If you had looked at our real estate portfolio, 100% US, right? And there we have been investing for 40 odd years in core plus real estate, which which is basically yield yielding assets, rental only, no new development, no high value add, nothing, no, right. no repositioning, refurbishment. Um, and that playbook, as you rightly pointed out, depends heavily on what the rental yield is. You know. And US markets have been quite efficient on that front. What we have done over the course of the last five years in particular, Neeraj, is we've transported that core capability and experiential base that we developed in, uh, in the United States into our two new markets, Europe, UK and continental Europe, and India. But we've done it with a very specific focus around two segments of the real estate market in particular. Number one conviction, global, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is around logistics, infrastructure, distribution, warehouse uh, centers, right? Not just because of the adoption of e-commerce globally, but also led by the more recent trend of building resilience in supply chains, nearshoring, reshoring, uh, and so on. And that we see across the globe. And that is a very attractive space. And there, the yields are actually quite attractive, Got it. right? Number one. Number two, in the US, it has been around multifamily. But the broader theme is around residential, including student housing, right? So student housing is a space we like. We've invested in student housing in the US. We've invested in student housing in the UK. We've invested you know, in schools and the peripheral uh, areas related to education in, in India. Right. So in India, going back to your question, the two themes that we are pursuing one is a very, you know, kind of secular theme around logistics warehouse, warehouses. And the second is a softer infrastructure theme around long term assets, where, which are inflation linked, i.e. schools.